a chair, a table, a lamp. Above on the white ceiling, a relief ornament in the shape of a wreath. And in the center of it, a blank space plastered over like the place in a face where the eye has been taken out. She said, I never thought that I would be a popular writer. I only wanted to be a good one. She writes for her times and she is of her times, but she writes for all times. There is an incredibly strong desire to meet Margaret Atwood. She's also fallen into this tragic but brilliant vein of connecting perfectly to some of the more alarming and disturbing political currents in the world. So she's like perpetually relevant. What we look back on nostalgically is democratic freedoms. They're under attack, not only from the right, but also from the extreme left. So the best time to live in is the sweet spot in the middle when the pendulum hasn't swung too far either way. You're going to read this? How old are you? Seven. My goodness. Well, good luck with it. This is her shot at getting the message out there. And by God, she's getting that message out there. She is just remarkable. She will be part of the pantheon of the great writers of our time and she will be read forever.